Hi, welcome to Cooking with Jacqueline. I'm Jacqueline St. James. Well, my favorite time of year is almost here. Well, second favorite time of year. Summer's my first. But fall is here. And my first holiday of fall is Halloween. Yes, one of my favorites. And what I like to do during the Halloween season is make pumpkin seeds. Yes, preparing pumpkin seeds is a completely cool and easy treat. Although my methods are not extreme, they are effective and quite easy. What I like to do best is for my pumpkin seeds is, you know, normally you like to, you know, you throw them away. I mean, what other activity do you get to do to reuse the waste product and eat it? I mean, certainly after woodworking, you don't eat the sawdust. And most people don't eat the paste after they do paper mache. Well, although five-year-olds do. I guess that's why I don't have kids. So before you eat the pumpkin seeds, you have to roast them. Don't worry, it's quite easy. What you need to do to make great pumpkin seeds is first you need an oven, yes. Then you need a metal baking sheet, uh, whatever size you have is fine. Um, you can use glass, um, I prefer metal. You need some melted butter, coarse pumpkin seeds, salt, and a seasoning of your choice. After I tell you the directions, I have a couple of um, recipes for you for different types of pumpkin seeds. So here's how to do it. Do a mediocre job of separating the goo and the guts from the actual seeds, but don't rinse them off. They won't taste as good if you do. Trust me. Add salt to the seeds, and I suggest about one teaspoon for every two cups of seeds. Then you're going to add the melted butter, and I use about a tablespoon, about one tablespoon of melted butter. Mix the salt and your seasoning of choice, melted butter and the seeds, and then spread them on the baking sheet. Then you're going to roast them at 300 degrees for about 30 minutes. Stir them halfway through, uh, th uh, through though, just you know, so they don't burn. Take them out and then eat them. I mean, as simple as that. So here are some pumpkin seed recipes that I've had from in the, from the past that I can't speak. <laughs> for sweet and spicy, if you like sweet and spicy, um, you can add a quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and a half tablespoon of cayenne pepper. For the curry, if you like curry, one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon salt, and that's it. These are really simple directions. If you like spicy garlic, like the Italian girl and me, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Yep. And for Southwest tastes, two teaspoons of cumin, one te teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon salt, and about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And there you go. There's several different ways of making pumpkin seeds for your light and easy snack. Um, you, just remember, you can eat the whole seed and husk and all, so don't worry about trying to open them or whatever, like, like what is it, those um, pistachio nuts? I can't stand them, but they taste so good. But all that work that you have to do, or like sunflower seeds, you don't have to worry about it. Just You can eat the whole seed. Uh, there are about 50 grams of seed for 50 about 50 grams of seeds has about five grams of dietary fiber, so that should definitely keep you regular. And pumpkin seeds are also said to be good for gout, prostate health, and are supposedly, so I've heard, an aphrodisiac. Both German and Bulgarian folk medicine say that eating pumpkin seeds prevents impotence. So this is a very sexual thing to eat. Roasted pumpkin seeds will keep for about a week in the fridge. So go out there and carve those pumpkins, grab your ingredients, and have a wonderful fall treat. Thanks for watching Cooking with Jacqueline, and I'll see you on a new episode soon. So, for now, bon appetit.